something tiny. A little baby triple tail. <laughs> They're here though. That might be a keeper. Uh, I didn't bring my net, dang it. Oh yeah, I do got my net. Yeah, let me get it real quick. All right, welcome back to another episode of Casey Camp. Switching it up today. Gonna try and catch a little variety of fish for you guys today. Starting out with some triple tail in the Indian River. Got one that looks like might be just under keeper here. Not bad for a first cast of the day. That might be a keeper. It's gotta be 18 inches. Yeah, he's too small. Probably 15. He would have been a keeper a few years ago. So we started out in the morning fishing for some triple tail. It's a really easy setup, just using live shrimp tail hooked with a two aught circle hook and about a 30 inch leader, 20 or 25 pound test. And we were using BB size split shots. We were just running three of them tight together about 14 to 16 inches up from the hook and just casting around some pilings, letting the shrimp sink to the bottom. And that's about it. You can cruise around the Indian River uh, fishing pilings and crab trap buoys and sometimes there's triple tail there. So we tried that for a bit. Look down. Oh, I gotta look down. Look down. That. What? You can eat them. I hear they're really good, so we're gonna try them. We're gonna try them. I said we're going for a variety today. Look at that cool looking thing, dude. That is cool. Weird, it's thin. I like a pumpano. Snapple. That might be a keeper. Go measure that. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got one. I think I got me another snapper. I got me a snapper, man. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, he's on my 11. You a keeper? Keeper. I said we're catching a variety today. Oh yeah, a sniper. Yeah, sniper city. Oh, and another one. Get out of my boat, you ain't even a keeper. You ain't allowed in here. So we weren't really finding any triple tail around other than the one I got on the first cast. So we decided to move to some docks to do a little bit of wading. 
to catch a few different species. Um, if you guys are liking the videos so far, could you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're into fishing. You should also go check out some of my other videos as well. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of wading with some live shrimp. Try and pick up some drum and redfish and whatnot, maybe trout, small snook. little baby have a good day buddy just pitching live shrimp under the docks a little split shot easy fishing right here for anyone Bunch of juveniles around here. Simple fishing. Three snook in five minutes. Go through shrimp quick doing this, but you catch a lot of fish. Always use a little split shot, BB size, and keep it kind of loose. You can adjust it up and down the line depending on the size of your shrimp. If it's a little shrimp, you can run it a little bit higher, but if you don't have it, the shrimp will just sit there on top of the water just want them to slowly sink down. That's when they get nailed. So, off to the next dock. 
probably catch another little juvenile snook right here. And then I think I'm gonna probably head out and try and find some redfish and drum. Maybe some trout. Might go pick up some more shrimp. Probably only got less than half a dozen baits left. Used up quite a few trying to catch triple tail this morning. Snappers were after them. And we got a few dead ones, but whatever. Let's see what I can pull off this dock real quick. If you're just getting into fishing though, and you want to learn how to wade the docks, this is a perfect way to go about it. pretty much park anywhere and fish any docks like this. There is no special spot. I've never fished these docks before. I just pulled up and started fishing. I think I'm going to skip this dock in case Brandon wants to come up and fish it. Actually, he's back at the boat getting bait. He must have ran out. Let your shrimp sink down to the bottom. You don't get nothing by the time it hits the bottom. Just lift it back up, pull it a little closer, and work it through that shadow line underneath the dock. You can walk pretty much right up on these fish as long as you don't get in the shadow. There we go, something messing with it. Yeah. Drum. A little black drum. Always a good variety using shrimp. A little pup. Come here, buddy. I think he just realized he was hooked. Little guy. Well, that was my last shrimp. Back to the boat I go. I got is a shrimp tail left. I'm gonna go probably pick up a few more shrimp and head to another area and see if I can get some decent drum and redfish. It'll be fun. Just trying to change up the variety a little bit. I don't want to give you guys too much snook action, but if you do like the snook action, drop a comment and let me know and I'll keep putting snook videos up. That's my favorite fish to catch and I've been doing it since I was knee high to a grasshopper basically. So um, yeah, like I said, just let me know and I'll keep posting up snook fishing videos if you'd like. <laughs> this fishing I'm doing right now with the live shrimp uh, works just as well as anything. Usually the bigger fish are a little shy to a shrimp with a hook sticking out of it. They want something a little bit more lively to go after. But I need to pop a new battery in the camera anyways and I'll see you guys after we get bait and head to the next spot. Nice drum. All right. 
Andy. That's what we're after. Perfect eater right there. Nice drum. Take him to the cooler. Brandon's dad wants some fish, so. We're gonna bring a little bit of meat home today. Yeah, that's a good eater right there. There we go, a little snook. <laughs> Hit it right at my feet. Just a little baby. Come here, little fella. Youngin. Nice oh, little guy, huh? If you're new to the channel and still watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Little guy. See you when you get big, bud. What you thinking, buddy? You're too small. You're too small to be fighting. Little guy. Taking my bait. Brandon just got a sheep's head over there. I said we're going after variety and I meant it. Catch it all on shrimp. <clears throat> oh man. Something nailed that thing quick. How you really feel? No, tell them how you really feel. All right. Tell them what you say. Hey, don't bite my hook. Soon as I let him go. What are you trying to hand me this? Yeah, yeah sniper. 
see. Oh, there we go. Dang, that was a good fish right there. So, we're gonna fry this fish up. I'm not gonna do a cook video for you because if you don't know how to cook fried fish, something's wrong with you. You just need some batter and oil. But we're gonna taste each of these fish and see which one tastes the best and have a couple beers while we're doing it. So I'll see you guys after the food is done being cooked. All right, so our catch is cooked. Got some grits, but we're just gonna do a little taste test here and see which one we like the best. Brandon's gonna go first. He's gonna start off with the look down. Look down. Pretty good, pretty good. Very good. Very good. Go ahead and next snapper. Snapper. Mangrove snapper next. Snapper. I really like the snapper. Better. A little bit better. A little bit better. Alright. Sheep's head. Sheep's head. Sheeps is a good one. I always like it, but I'm liking the snapper still. Snapper, still all right. Sheeps head still good. What's this one? This is black drum. Black drum. I'm not gonna eat the whole piece. I'm just gonna eat. It. Yeah, just eat a piece and throw it on the plate. And we can make plates when we're done. Still liking the um, snapper. Still liking the snapper, all right. And then this is triple tail. All right. Hot. Hot. Real hot. Ooh. Very mild. Mm. Oh, triple tail's good. Triple tail's good. Triple tail wins. Snapper. Triple tail wins. Triple tail wins? Alright. Mm. Now. That's good. My turn. Look down. We left the skin on. I just tried it out. I've never tried <clears throat> fish with the skin on, but give it a try. <clears throat> wow. How's that though? That's amazing. <clears throat> amazing. I don't know. I eat a lot of fish. As of right now, I feel like this one's going to be hard to beat. <clears throat> All right. Moving to the snapper. Hmm. A bit salty. <laughs> mm. I don't know, that's a hard battle there. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Look down when it's between those two for me. Maybe the sheep's head. Sheep's head's always good. Got a good texture to it. Beautiful white, fluffy meat. Mmm. But still, like into look it. down. Still my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. Black drum, here we go. Get a nice, thick piece. We're gonna get the full flavor here. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Awesome texture fried. This is a tough battle here. Mm. Still thinking, still thinking, look down. And off the triple down. There we go. Last but not least. Real hot. Give mm. us a look at that meat. Mmm. Mm. Alright. It's pretty tasty. Fried triple tail wins. Wow. Look down second. Snapper third. Drum. And sheep's head. That's a close call there. They're kind of similar tasting. Um, sheep's head's a little bit more fluffy. 
the drum's a little bit more firm, but pretty similar in flavor. So that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that right now. Give this video a thumbs up, and we're going to go ahead and pig out and make our plates. We've got some cheese grits here, and that's it for this one. So I'll see you guys on the next one.